Reporting on celebrity news comes with a lot of responsibility. One is to school Ria Hopani about that. Ria is a 22-year-old podcast on YouTube who happened to have said defamatory stuff about Bonang Mateba and AKA. And guess what? The Queen Bee has had enough. Ria went on to his podcast during the AKA and Anele Tembe saga and accused Bonang for allegedly introducing AKA to drugs. To give you a background story for what was happening at the time, he said that statement, there were pictures that surfaced showing AKA breaking the door and charging towards Anele Tembe, who is late. People speculated that the way AKA was so out of it, he must allegedly be under the influence. Here is the video that implicated Rea Hopani. We know AKA, bro. Let's not hide from the truth. What is the truth? Doc Scoop told us, bro. What did he tell us? Because boss, you want to bring it up. told us that AKA <laughs> is on coke and Bonang is the one that got him into cocaine. Scoop told us that, bro. After the interview, we had him right here at this place. We we're talking about the fight between him and Casper. So we know that AKA is into hard drugs. We know it. I know. It's known. It's not factual. It's known. Nah, dude. Yeah. It's known. But you know, Rhea, let me it's say this known. to you. Let me say this to you, ne? Let me say this to you. Let's not run away from the truth. Let me say this to you. Such accusations, especially especially with no... What, which accusation? Who am I accusing of what? You're saying AKA's on drugs. That's not what I'm saying. You said he's on coke. Scoop told us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. In confidential. Mm. But this is the Ray and Black Step podcast. I mean, like, you, there's no confidential now. Like, it's out of there. Yeah. So we know that AK has been abusing drugs, bro. He lives the fast life, all the fame, dog clubs, whatever. Like, he's there. This girl was thrown into it right after dating this guy. So, what's your point? Bro? The dad is seeing drugs and alcohol abuse. There's a connection there. So, from the video, one can clearly hear Ria repeating it over and over again that Bonang allegedly introduced AKA to cocaine. Ria further explains that Scoop told him in confidence when the cameras were not rolling that indeed the allegations were true. As shocked as we were, we knew very well that Ria was asking for trouble and Ria was warned over and over again about the statement, but he just ignored that. As a result, Bonamateba did what in person would do. She sent Ria a letter from her attorneys. Well, it was not so pleasant, but let's take a look at it. Then we'll talk about it afterwards. Well, the letter reads as follows. Defamation proceedings, Bonamateba versus Ria Hopani. It is regrettable that this correspondence is required to be sent to you by way of a social media platform simply because you prefer to hide yourself to avoid facing your legal responsibilities. On Sunday, 9 May 2021, you falsely and unlawfully accused Bonang Mateba in a widely published video clip of Inter Alia having introduced AKA Kenan Jerry Forbes to cocaine. In the context of what was being discussed in the video clip, this defamatory allegation was exacerbated by the shocking insinuation that the death of AKA's girlfriend Anele Nelly Tembe was due to AKA's alleged use of cocaine. The allegations were defamatory, hateful, and very deliberately intended to humiliate my client and undermine her reputation. The allegations are also, to your knowledge, false. Your false utterance are compound compounded by the fact that at the time of making them on public platform, you knew full well that these utterances would be widely viewed given my client's high public profile. On Sunday 9 May 2021, I contacted you and gave you an opportunity to publish a retraction and to apologize publicly and unreservedly. You expressly, expressly undertook to do so the same day. You did not fulfill this undertaking and instead went into public hiding and refused to either respond to messages or calls. You also refused to provide your email address. 
My instruction is to invite you to mitigate your unlawful conduct and provide an immediate apology and unconditional retraction, which should be in writing and published on your various video platforms, including YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. In addition, we require your written undertaking that you will refrain from making any further false, defamatory, or hateful statements about or concerning my client. Please ensure that this written undertaking is received by 4 p.m. tomorrow, Monday, the 17th, May 2021, failing which my client reserves the right to apply for an interdict against you. Whilst a public apology retraction will go some way towards ameliorating the hurt and the insult on my client's reputation and her dignity, my client also intends seeking financial compensation in the form of damages. To this, I'm instructed to demand from you payment of the sum of 500,000 rands within 10 days. Should this sum not be paid within the time prescribed, I have instructions to issue summons without further notice to you. Please provide your physical address to avoid summons being served via Facebook and or Instagram. My client's rights remain strictly reserved. Yours sincerely, Stephen Thompson. Sorry, I was given the chance to retract, but he did not do that. As a result, he is facing um, a very heavy lawsuit. And if he wants to apologize, a second chance has been given, but this time he's going to have to pay 500,000 rent. So guys, there you go. Ria made an apology, and this is his apology video to Banang Mateba. Good evening, everybody. My name is Rea Tlhino Khopani. I'm a 22-year-old podcaster on the Rea and Black Staff podcast. As stated in my previous retraction and apology to Ms. Bonang Mateva, um, I would like to sincerely apologize to everybody that was mentioned in the podcast on the 9th of May in 2021. Um, I am deeply regretful of what I said and I now realize the harm that our podcast could could cause and um, I've learned from my mistake and I will definitely look to improve on my content going forward. The people that I would like to specifically apologize to is Ms. Bonang Mateva, Sia Bongang Wekazi, which is Kut Makatini, and then lastly, AKA, which is Mr. Keenan Forbes. Um, I just want to make sure that um, we push the envelope forward in terms of providing content for the entertainment industry. I never want to um, be negative and spew negative information. I just want to make sure that we build together and everything that I do or say, everybody that I interview, I leave them with a bit of um, a lot of positivity. So I'm really sorry and I hope everybody can forgive me and um, I'll make sure I do the right thing going forward. Well, Rhea doesn't sound as confident as he was making that video. And judging by the way things are going, I doubt that Rhea has 500k lying around. However, he has all the time in the world to attend the courts. And let me tell you something, this is not pop and flace. By the time he'll be done with the court case, he'll be left with two dreadlocks. So Rhea, I hope you've learned your lesson. You must learn to say allegedly in stuff that he cannot prove. Thank you very much for watching TV Scoop Entertainment. Do let me know in the comment section down below. Do you think that Bonang should just drop the case or Ria should learn his lesson? Thank you.